Welcome to the Texas Cannabis Collective weekly update for the week of July 30th, 2022. I'm Jesse Williams. Lone Star Collective and Texas Cannabis Collective updates are sponsored by Oak Cliff Cultivators. For more information, visit oakcliffcultivators.com. Support also comes from Thrive Apothecary. For more information, visit thrivetx.com. We've got upcoming events as well in Texas. On August 10th is the Texas Cannabis Roundup in Dallas, Texas. On August 27th is the all-day event Canarock in Austin, Texas. For more information, visit the Events tab in the menu of the Texas Cannabis Collective website. Under a new bipartisan congressional bill, federal marijuana records would be expunged. Representatives Troy Carter, a Democrat from Louisiana, and Rodney Davis, a Republican from Illinois, are sponsoring the new Marijuana Misdemeanor Expungement Act. The bill lays out that the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court will be required to implement rules to facilitate the review, expungement, sealing, sequester, and redaction of criminal records for low-level federal cannabis crimes. In order to be eligible for expungement under the proposal, at least one year must have transpired since the arrest or the last non-technical docket filing. Carter stated that the legislation will, quote, restore justice to millions of Americans who have suffered inordinate collateral consequences associated with marijuana-related misdemeanors. These misdemeanors, even without a conviction, can result in restrictions to people's ability to access educational aid, housing assistance, occupational licensing, and even foster parenting, he said. Delivering justice for our citizens who have been impacted by marijuana-related misdemeanors is a key component of comprehensive cannabis reform. The Developing and Nationalizing Key Cannabis Research Act, aka Dank Cannabis Research Act, was filed this past Wednesday. A bipartisan congressional duo filed the bill to set a federal marijuana research agenda and to allow for universities to conduct cannabis studies with federal grants. The National Institutes on Health will be required to work with other agencies, including the CDC and Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, to develop a national cannabis research agenda that addresses key questions and gaps in evidence. In selecting institutions of higher education for designation as centers of excellence in cannabis research, the director of NIH shall give priority to such institutions that have proven track records in medical cannabis research. The measure states, The designations would be valid for five years, after which point an institution may reapply. Tarleton University has completed its study using Hemp My Pets Full Spectrum Abacus CBD Oil on Horses with great success. The objective of the research program was to explore opportunities that full spectrum CBD oil may provide to the livestock industry as a tool to mediate stressors, minimize injury during transport and handling, and promote health by minimizing overstimulation of the hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal glands, commonly called the HPA axis. The research demonstrated that higher doses of CBD are more effective overall compared to lower doses of CBD. In both dosages, CBD was undetectable after 24 hours with the highest blood concentration levels peaking at four hours after it was administered. There was no difference observed in the effects of CBD in male and female horses, but there was an increase in feed eating times in both the low and higher CBD dosages. The higher dosage was seen to have a much longer feed time compared to the lower dosage. Research showed there was a decrease in cortisol levels in the transportation portion of the study and that there were not any long-lasting effects of the CBD in both the low and high dosages. That is it for this week in Cannabis News Review here at the Texas Cannabis Collective. If there is something going on in the Texas cannabis space that you think others should be aware of, just drop us a note on our contact form online. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at txcanaco.com and search for Lone Star Collective Podcast in your search engine to get updates about our show and weekly news. Have a safe week, Texas, and stay hydrated to beat the heat.